You would think after 17 years here that uh, I'd run out of ideas for projects. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> you have projects too. Minor, small projects. It says you. <laughs> well, do you know what this one is? This box is for flowers. No. It's not just for pretties. It has a purpose. Yes, I know. I watch your videos. What's the purpose then? It's to draw the good insects and to deter the bad ones. That's right. Because sometimes, even though I companion plant inside the garden in buckets and bags and stuff, a border of companion planting is just as good. Uh-huh. But it has to be pretty. Well, yeah. Yes, we are doing a border, but it's only on one end. Thank goodness. Hey, wait a minute. Have you got a project idea? Pardon? Well, you're right. A border is like all the way around. Yeah, cool. We only have to do one end. My honeydew. Yeah, we're just going to do one end, and then if it works, we can add over time. Is that right? <laughs> See, folks, what we're doing. always companion plant like I said in buckets and um, even sometimes in the same containers inside the garden but you know a big part of companion planting is location if you plant a border of companion plants around your garden a lot of times that's good enough to draw in the beneficial insects that are going to uh, eat the bad insects The bad insects are the ones that also not only chew your plants up, but they bring in the fungus and they bring in the viruses. So this is just an extra layer of protection. I'm gonna explain it to you so in terms you'd understand. The purpose of the- You forgot something. What? Hey, y'all watch this. <laughs> what? Go ahead. The purpose of creating the planter box for the border. It, it's like NASCAR and drafting. Okay. Is the wind blowing? <laughs> no, it, it's, it serves the same purpose as drafting. You bring in the bugs, the good bugs, the predatory bugs, and that pulls them in, makes them go faster into your garden. The predatory bugs? Yeah, the good ones. Predatory's not good. No, <laughs> they're called predatory insects because they prey on the bad bugs. Okay. <laughs> you got to learn the garden lingo, baby. I'll just stick with building. Okay. You stick with the gardening All and right, the bugs. You might not have to spray as much. Well, what'd you say about bugs? <laughs> Let's do this thing. Let's do it. We cut these pieces a foot long. Uh, that's going to end up giving us, uh, me nine inches inside the, the planter box. We're not doing this one like we did the SIP. It's not going to be an SIP sub irrigation planter. Um, if you watch that little video on that project, it was to hold grow bags and so we needed to make it where it could hold a half inch of water. This is not going to be like that. This is strictly going to be just a regular planter. You waiting on me? I want you to hold it. It's just going to be a regular planter because uh, trying to make it level down here. 
the fifth line follows the ground so it would look ridiculous if we tried to make a planter box that was level on the front of these uh, fences now I argued with him I'm taking that back I don't argue you see my shirt I just explained why I'm right I tried to explain why I was right that I thought we should build the three sides before we put it up and put the wire underneath because we're going to use the hardware cloth again underneath uh, because I thought it was going to be a real pain to have to lay on the ground scooch along the ground to attach the wire but he seems to think that that would be easier so we're doing it his way because he's building it for me so give me them eyes instead of this front board coming in here it's like we did inside. this one it'd go to the outside yep. which gives me a deeper planter deeper planter i think it will make it stronger okay as far as the framing of it well i like that i like the deeper planter idea um the reason i wanted to cut them 12 inches also was not to waste any uh not to waste any of the hardware cloth because it's three foot wide so That'll work great. Fall it in. Yep, ten and a half. Yep. Voila. Now I get the fun job. Supervisor number one. Supervisor number two. sides and some braces and then we just ran a long board that comes to here and then another one so we'll probably take some one by fours to cover up this split and then maybe put another one just decoratively the same distance in and um, put one over on the other one just so that they match and we'll stain them again at that point and and they'll be ready to fill. Now I'll show you how uh, I'm going to fill them, what I'm going to put down to keep the dirt from falling through the wire. This is simply 12 inch wide burlap. Um, it will disintegrate over time, but it, it does take a bit of time. Probably by the time it disintegrates, I would want to replenish the, the, the potting mix in these boxes anyway. But all you do is just lay it in here. I don't even have to trim it. Wouldn't want to trim it because it's got some finished edges on it. But this is going to hold in the potting mix. This is what I did on the hatchet shack up by our chicken coop. And it already has the holes in it so we don't have to worry about... Um, doing plastic and poking holes in it. It's just going to naturally drain without an issue. Simple. Well, another project all completed. Yes, T-H-U. Do. <laughs> Remember, bye and have a good one. Have a good one. Oh, did you take one of my pills? <laughs> is it on? Speaker, it's on. Is the speaker on? Yes, it's on. It's on. It's on. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, 
Okay. Take three. <laughs> uh, well, another. 